Hey Casher, Derek here, Bake Six Clan. Today we're gonna to be using some PVC and LEDs to make a really cool creative cache. Let's get started. Okay, so this creative cache is based off of one that Chad showed us on Gadget Talk with the pipe, with the LEDs and the reed switches. And I kind of was thinking maybe there's some other ways that we can do this and to make it easier for you as well as to build. And on this, I'm gonna break this actually up into three parts as we go through this video. Uh, the first part we're gonna be building is the where the battery and where the tot's gonna be. The second is gonna be where the preform and the host of where that's gonna be living. And then the last part that we're gonna be building is how to put all the reed switches and all that together and then put it all together as one piece. So that's what we're gonna be doing. I got the PVC and now let's go ahead and start with the first part. All right, so the first part of the putting this together is actually really simple. All I did was just cut a piece of the PVC just large enough for the battery to be able to fit inside of it. And I'm using a nine volt battery and it's not gonna go all the way down because of that. Then I took the, a rare earth magnet and put it in the cap, which is, this is a one and a quarter cap, put it inside there and then I hot glued it and that's just gonna sit over top of that. Of, over top of that. And that's pretty much your battery compartment right there. And so next, we're gonna move to where the preform is gonna be housed. All right, so the host of where the preform goes is really simple. Once again, I just cut the PVC down. And when I cut the PVC, I made sure that there was enough room for when I put the cap in at the top. And then also where the lock fits in here, it just locks it in place. So that preform is just right in here and between here. And then I went, came up with this, some top around the cap and I put some silicone sealer right around the inside of that so that cap, when this dries, will stay right there and it won't come back up. So when they push that preform back up, it's not gonna push up into this. And it also serves for another purpose for the section in the middle. All right, now we're getting to the final assembly and I've got this, the smaller PVC wired up. Now I'm just using the smaller PVC just to be able to get the reed switches and the wires in there. And what I'm gonna do is take this and I'm just going to put it inside the larger PVC. Now before I get to that, I wanted to tell you the, the soldering I did on this is a little bit different. I actually got what's called solder sleeves. And what it is, it's just like a it's very simple, it has the solder in the middle, and then it's got the shrink wrap on the outside. And what it does is you take your heat gun and heat it up, and it shrinks the shrink wrap, and it melts the solder in there to make that seal. So if you don't really know how to solder very well, this is a really great option, and I have a link to these down in the description. So that's really cool. I wanted to use these today on this because this was gonna be tedious, and I thought this would be a great way of doing it. So now what I need to do is put it inside the PVC where it's going to go and also one of the lines that came out, I've marked it with tape so I know which one is coming from the battery and then it's going to come out and then go to the LED so there's not a continuous loop there. So let's go ahead and get this put together. All right, so now it's all together. Of course, down in the bottom part down here is the preform. Then I have a coupler. Then all the electronics are in here in this middle section. And then the battery that if I need to, I can always open this up and pull it out and change the battery out if I need to. 
But don't forget, in the cap is my earth magnet where the tot is. Now what you do is you take your tot and you just start running it along the pipe until those LEDs start lighting up. And when those LEDs light up, the color that that LED is will represent the number that will get you into the lock to open up the preform. Just a really cool way of being able to use reed switches and LEDs and putting it all into a PVC. Now I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been just kind of a very unique way of doing this. And like I said, this is off of a concept that Chad from uh, Gadget Talk that I help host with came up with and I just wanted to do it a different way. Now remember also the reed switches, the LEDs, and any of the electronic kind of stuff is all links down in the description below and those are affiliate links so anything that you get from that will help the channel and I really do appreciate it. I really do hope you like this. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. But don't go anywhere. Go check out another one of these videos just right over here and find the story behind the cache.